take off the wheel. I'm tired, bro. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I have a big smile on my face, but I am not happy at this moment. I'm giving thanks, but I'm not happy. So, Shanika called me about 30, 40, 50 minutes ago. She was at work, and for whatever reason, the car just decided not to work. You know what I'm saying? Some, something, something went wrong. So, I'm home with the kids. Um, luckily, we have a good bridging. You don't know. Big up man like Nicholas. My good brother Nicholas was in the area, so he dropped Shanika home and then um, he and I are now on the road uh, trying to get some car parts and all sort of things because some something go wrong on the car. You know, I'm not a mechanic, you know what I mean? Nick is one of the biggest, baddest upcoming mechanic in all of, I'm not going to say Canada, I'm going to say in all of North America. In fact, in all of the Western Hemisphere, you'll find no one else like Nicholas. So big up Nicholas. Um, Nick, could you describe what happened to the car or what's the, the issue with the car? So the outer the outer tire then. The outer what? The outer tire then mm -hmm. on, on the driver's side seems to fail. It, it broke off, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. It, it, it's a it's a part that wears out on, on all cars though. Just just a piece of the suspension. It wears out over time, but this one completely failed. It actually popped out of the socket. So this is the car part. What is the name of this part? Outer tower then. Oh, okay. There's an inner tower then, and there's an outer tower then. Outer tower then. It looks like this. So this is what is completely uh, yeah. rusted out, right? Yeah. So what happened is there's a so there's a ball inside here. Yeah. And it just well, like, this is a socket, the outside part. Mm -hmm. So the part that connects to the um the spindle. Mm -hmm broke off so now this part is hanging loose just on the driver's side but you're going to change both yeah of them. i'm going to replace both of them but on the driver's side is the one that uh, malfunction and this costs 50 bucks canadian so that's pretty good right yeah it's pretty good now when you get into the bmw one special <laughs> bmw one you just parked the car yeah. back at the car finally and that's the part that broke see the wheel because it's free yeah. oh, that's why i turned all the way out there yeah the tire rod broke yeah, dang. So if I was driving with that, no, legit, if I was driving and that broke. And it popped out, the, the, the wheel could probably come off, actually. Oh, for Cause, real? Because all of the pressure now would be on just what, what's remaining holding it. Yeah, it'll probably turn like this, and then the car will just push it. And just break, break it off. It, it, it'll break the strut and the control arm, then it'll come off, and, and the axle will come off. Then the car will probably stop. While it's on here, you'll be able to crack this nut on the end. But because of the rust, it's going to be a bit difficult. Yeah, but I'm going to heat it up. Hopefully, I'll be able to take it off. Okay. Let's see if I can, even though this is backwards. With a little improvisation, um, Nick has used the, the jack just to hold up the, the outer tie rider, the in, outer place. Tie rider in, in place, and he will now try and crack the at the end. DCs. You have to improvise sometimes. Hopefully, it, it gives you enough leverage though. <laughs> Up somewhere. Come on. 
Okay. So that you can do the same thing to the new yeah, one we have put, put on. on. Okay, so you don't mess with the alignment, right? Yeah. One. Two. Fifteen, we said, right? Yeah. One, two, three. A grease nipple, so you could add some grease to it. Mm -hmm. On the big trucks, they have them too, so that we, um, when they start to go bad, just add a little bit of grease to it. We don't like so, well, well, not, not, not even go, not even go bad, like just to service it. Like when you, when we would do oil changes, we would uh, grease it up, right? Yeah. Which are when you see these, you would see them on um, well, just various places of the car. You might see grease nipples. I didn't bring the right tool, but we're gonna use this vice grip. You gonna tighten that? Yeah. the tie rod which was ten and a half on the other one and this one seems to line up i'm sure other mechanics will do have different ways how they make sure say yeah. it um there's there's also different ways to um do the alignment like mm -hmm. if you want if you try to do it at home you could probably use a string and measure from the front to the back wheel to make sure they're straight oh, okay okay but the best way is to go on the machine to get like dead on so now we're gonna tighten this up Oh yeah, and then we tighten back this end nose. It's important to tighten that back. What? That, the, the end nose. Okay. This is, it's supposed to hard to see me, don't no? Yeah, it's probably still work. <laughs> and this is the left side, so pretty much I got to check the right side and just replace the right side as well. Um, and that should be it. I would have thought it was gonna be way, way, way <laughs> more difficult, but the most difficult part was to actually get that nut open because it has seized up because of the rust. Also, I was but, putting the wrong way first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, wow, man. They sort it up pretty oh. easy. Put the wheel back on to see how straight it is. And that's it. That's We're it. done. After I'm going to use my torque pressure, put it back to the proper torque. What? What? 